Hi gang, Rob here with another product overview for CollectorKnives.net. This is a small fixed blade from Landy Cutlery called the Kinzula. And it's a pretty neat little knife. Uh, a growing segment, I think, in early 2016 is the sort of EDC fixed blade knife. The Kinzula might be an entry into that market niche. Uh, however, it does have a little backup tactical capability too, I think. Uh, we'll talk about that as we get into the review or the overview of this knife. <clears throat> the Kinzula is constructed of A2 tool steel, hardened by Peter's Heat Tree of Meadville, Pennsylvania to 58 to 59 Rockwell, which should make it adequate at holding an edge, in fact better than adequate, and also extremely tough, easy enough to resharpen and mildly corrosion resistant. Uh, the stock thickness of this knife is about 115 thousandths with a big, broad, full flat ground blade, three and three eighths inches long, and with three and three eighths inches of cutting length. So nicely designed getting that cutting edge all the way back to the front of the handle with still a proper sharpening choil. So the overall length of the knife is 7 and 9 sixteenths. So, oh gosh, that gives us what, a little over a 4 inch handle, like a 4 and 3 sixteenths handle or something. And it is plenty generous for a four finger grip. The pinky just catching that point. Nicely so. Comfortable in saber grip, hammer grip, draw cut grip, and reverse grip with even a little bit of jimping above the butt if you did need to pull this out of your boot per se and use it to fend off a bad guy. The handle scales are black and green layered G10 held on with gosh they look like T15 Torx screws or so. Big generous lanyard hole As with most Landy A2 blades, they're a little thick behind the edge and then convex ground at the edge. So flat ground from spine to where the edge bevel starts and then a, a convex edge bevel. The sheath for this one just comes with a two-piece Kydex sheath. Uh, no other attachment method. It's really, I think, great for like I said, slipping it down into a boot or even a pocket. And it is a sheath that with the thumb ramp can just be shot off the knife if you so desire. Good retention, pretty good snap. When the knife is in it, it doesn't rattle. Nicely done. Now I would say that this handle um, of the small knives made by Landy, I would not consider it the best EDC handle design um, of the Landy EDC, the Landy PSK, and the Kinzula. Uh, this is definitely the only one that can flex into the, that tactical rule, though, just from the design of its handle, the jimped thumb ramp, the way that it performs in a variety of grips. Just a nice, nice little knife if you're looking for a backup tactical, but still with great EDC capability as well. These are available now at CollectorKnives.net for well under a hundred bucks and in a variety of handle materials, micartas, G10s, and exotic hardwoods. So uh, I will link the product page in the description of the video if you haven't already looked at it and you can choose which Kinzula fits you best. That's all for this one my friends. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember the word is sharp.